Because you were drugged. Honey. Oh. Uh. What? Okay, so they brought it to the cafeteria? I don't know what? Okay, the grabbing is still weird. Like, that's not her fault. I mean, she was barely even talking to that dude. He played some guitar, offered her water. Like, it wasn't even a drink. It was water. And she got drugged. Not okay. Don't get drugged by stupid guys and bottles of water. I mean, are you kidding me? But I have a feeling I know who did this. I know who did this. And I want to be wrong, but I'm not. Let's find out. Why does the guy have lipstick? Well, I mean, it's obviously, it's obviously fraudulent. Kind of on brand. This guy's a detective! He's a keeper. What are you doing? You're telling me that they had to zoom in to find out that he has a scorpion tattoo even though it's like this big!
That's a pretty generic scorpion. Ah, oh, a little yellow slip of information. He does not play the saxophone. I can tell by the way that he's holding it. Like, that's not... No. There are many things I can't believe, but this is not one of them. I love now you really can't play the saxophone, though. Yeah, what if... I almost... Almost said something that, uh... You see that? You see that? I'm gonna spill it! Let's go back and look at the footage, folks. She's gonna be like, oh no! <gasps> My friend! Rumpel's paper. There. That. That face. Oh, she's happy about it. Cause she's a psychopath. She is a little conniving. It's always the nice ones. It's always those real nice ones. When people are too nice, you gotta be worried about them. Mm. She set it up. I don't know why no one is asking her anything. Cause you went with her to the club, and then what? What then? She disappeared. No, she was plotting your demise, my friend. Evil. Ah, uh, she had an opportunity to redeem herself. I know, are you like a, a borderline psychopath? I don't understand. Like she is happy that her friend is gonna be doomed. She's satisfied that she ruined her friend's reputation so that she has a chance with the guy that she likes. Oh, <gasps> no, that's so so me oh ow oh why is that funny she could have like straight up broken a leg ow jeez I have a problem with this school, man. It's not, not okay. I wouldn't want to go there. Wouldn't want to send my worst enemy there. No one deserves that kind of treatment. The plot thickens. Okay. All right. <laughs> the bed, look at the bed. F come on. Oh, but these have his face in it. So now you can see who the guy is. It's probably like his evil brother or something. Evil best friend. Uh, a rival. Um, maybe he's... From a gang, yeah, look at that face! Oh, no? No. Okay, I'm just gonna... Vandalize. Oh, 
고준표가 이래. 네가 너무 불공평하잖아. 어. I'm so angry. 그 녀석 친구 아니었어? 응. Aren't you? Aren't you? 뭐 친구라면서 그렇게 말해도 되는 거야? So now he knows that she did it. <sighs> He's not worth it! He's not worth it! Come on! No! He is not worth this type of behavior and manipulation and work! For what? So you can be annoyed by someone with curly hair? Oh! Please, please, I'm begging you. If a guy ever drives you to have to do things like this, it's not worth it. I mean, who would want to be with someone like that? He's just a jerk, and she is just a psychopath. <sighs> Your tears mean nothing. Ooh, he's mad. <gasps> Like, are you guys mental? It's not worth it. I know that I said that like education is the most important thing, but what? Again. Oh, they're throwing water balloons at her. What are they? <gasps> They're throwing tomato juice? That must sting so much! And a fire extinguisher! Covered in flour, bleeding. Jeez, okay. Oh, this is where we're ending? This? This is it? Why is drugging and kidnapping like such a theme in this film? Also just Hunger Games all the time. Mm, like you guys are like so much for romance, but then when it comes to status, it seems to be so much more important. Um, I don't know. It's like they're constantly in a fight for dominance. Like the ones always like, you know, gotta make your parents proud, gotta make your community proud, you've gotta like be an upstanding citizen, which I really admire, but then also like not being able to fall in love with whoever you want because they're not in the same sort of social group as you are and then that then conflicts with each other and and then the bullying starts. Wow, that was a roller coaster. Oh my goodness. Okay. How do I feel after this episode? Concerned. Confused. Scared. A little, a little scared. Um. Worried. I'm worried. I'm worried about Korea. Korea, you okay? <laughs> okay, this was in 2008 though, so very long time ago things have changed. I would really like to actually watch a modern um, a romance drama and see what the difference is like there, see like compare, Be like how far have you come? <laughs> because I know for sure in western series I can tell a big difference between like pre-2010 and post-2010, big difference. But I mean, even like 2010 to me doesn't feel like that long ago. But that's 10 years ago, 11 years ago now. 11 years ago. Okay, so I want to find out. When was the first Korean boy band? Boy group? Boy group? Boy pop group, boy boy pop 
group. Let's see. BTS? What? Well, they're probably the most renowned, but I wouldn't say... Okay, so Wikipedia just straight up gives me BTS. Um, here we go. What is the first K-pop boy group? Seo Taji and Boys. Okay, the first K-pop group. Seo Taji. Taiji? I'm still not confident in saying anything in Korean. I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can put that into the oi, 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 oi. I'm gonna put that in Google Translate. Poist. Okay, and now Seo Taiji. Okay. Okay, Seo Taiji. I wasn't that bad. But I also wasn't exactly right, so <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, Seo Taiji um, and the boys debuted in 1992. Wow, okay, cool. So, 1992 with the song I Know, which incorporated Western sounds like hip hop and RB through the song as far as cry from traditional South Korean music. Seo Taji and Boys became wildly popular and changed the country's music scene forever. I want to know more about Seo Taji and Boys. Please tell me more. Wikipedia. Okay, uh, was a South Korean music group uh, from 1992 to 1996. So four years. Yes, I can do math. <laughs> it's four years. <laughs> okay. Um, the three members, Seo Taji, Yang Hook Seo, Hyun Suk. I'm dyslexic, so my brain switched that around real fast. And Leo Juno in 96, Billboard reported that the band's first three albums had each sold 1.6 million copies, with the fourth nearing 2 million making all four some of the best-selling albums in South Korea. 1.6 million? I can't even fathom that amount. I mean, we've established I'm bad at math, but 1.6 million. So that's all from me on this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed that. I did. I mean, I'm worried about Korea. <laughs> Can you hear the dogs in the background? I have a lot of dogs. They're going outside now. They're very noisy. They have no shame. <laughs> okay, so that's it for me. I hope that you enjoyed that. I did, I, uh, I am worried about Korea, but I still enjoyed watching episode four of uh, Boys Over Flowers. I realized that it's actually a super long series, so it's gonna take me a while to get through the whole series. I think I'm gonna dabble in some other stuff because I just reacting to the one series is a little bit boring. Um, so let me know if there's something that you think that I should try out of Korean content at the moment. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, join me next time. I will be having fun and I will most likely surprise you and drop some weird ass thing that I'm doing or reacting to on YouTube for your entertainment. So please like, follow, subscribe, click the bell. I don't know if I did that in the correct but I'm hoping I did. And please comment. I'd really like to hear what you think, even if it's just a thumbs up or a, a, like a smiley face, just something. Just pop in there in the comments and just type me something, anything. Have a good one. I don't have a sign off yet. Um, be nice to people. Don't kidnap or be kidnapped. 
stay safe. That's what I'm gonna say off of this. Just don't be kidnapped, don't kidnap others, stay safe. So stay tuned, I'm very animated with my arms today. Don't know what that's about.